Okay, FAQ number 58. What about beards and facial hair for men? Obviously. You know, what about beards and facial hair? Is it right? You know, should Christians be quote unquote clean shaven? Uh, I've seen this thing so many times in my in the comments, you know, why don't you shave your beard? Why don't you time to shave the beard? Cut off your beard. You know, why don't you take a long walk off a short pier, you know? Okay. What's the Bible teach about beards? Second Samuel chapter 10, verse 4. Wherefore Hanun took David's servants and shaved off the one half of their beards and cut off their garments in the middle, even to their buttocks and sent them away. When they told it unto David, he sent to meet them because the men were greatly ashamed. And the king said, Tarry at Jericho until your beards be grown and then return. So it was a shame in the Old Testament for men to have a shaved face. And interestingly, why is it that only men can grow beards and facial hair? Interesting. And I know that there are certain kindreds that they can't grow facial hair and things like that. And it doesn't mean you're less of a man or something. You know, God has purposes for all that. What's, you know, he has, he has things, you know, his plans there. And you say, what is, what's it about? I don't know. You know, genetically what's going on there. Why can men grow beards? Certain men and others can't and whatever else. I don't know. But what about the New Testament? We see there in the Old Testament, Second Samuel. What about the New Testament? 1 Corinthians chapter 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14. Doth not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him? But if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her, for her hair is given her for a covering. You say, what's that have to do with beards? Well, do we see a distinction there? Okay, a woman with long hair, it's a glory. If a man has long hair, he looks like a woman. Now, what did it say back there in the Old Testament? Tarry at Jericho until your beards be grown. They were ashamed that they had no beard. Um, why was that? Because without a beard, they had a face like a woman. That would have been the reason back there in the Old Testament. You say, well, then any man that doesn't have facial hair, are you calling him a woman? No, I'm not calling him a woman, certainly not, but to try and, you know, I don't make any kind of rules or anything and say, I'm, I'm you know, going to block anybody from my channel that doesn't have facial hair, you know, as far as men are concerned. Of course not. You know, it's not a big deal. You know, if you want to have a beard, go ahead. If you want to have a goatee or a mustache or whatever else, go ahead, whatever. You know, but this, this idiotic bunch of nonsense, these effeminate people that come along and say a man should be clean shaven. I mean, show me that in scripture where... No beard means that you're clean. You know, and I can show you from history that a lot of times the monks in the Roman Catholic orders, they are shaving their head in certain ways to, to uh, you know, symbolize certain things that uh, I won't be able to say, you know. But, uh, you know, this thing of, of shaving your face as a man, uh, if, if God intended men to not have facial hair, uh, first of all, why is it that you have to wait to be a man before you get facial hair? Secondly, uh, you know, why would God even have hair grow down there, down here? What's the purpose? So, you know, if you want to have a beard, have a beard. It's not a big deal. Uh, does this make me more holy or more spiritual than, than men that don't have beards? No, I don't believe that. Um, but, you know, if you're a man and you're trying to look effeminate, well, then, yeah, in that case, it, it would. But, uh, you know, I believe, personally, I want my wife to have long hair because it's a glory to her and makes her look like a woman. She looks feminine. That's why I want her to dress in dresses and skirts. I don't want her to dress and look like a man. You know, I don't want her to, to wear men's clothing. Uh, so I say, you wear dresses and you have long hair. I'm not going to wear dresses. That'd look really weird. <laughs> You know, and I'm going to have facial hair. Now, if you say, well, I'm of some kindred that I can't grow facial hair. I can't grow a beard to save my life. Well, okay, you know, then do something else to, to look like a man. You know, the point is distinction. God wants distinction. That's why the men in the Old Testament were ashamed to go out until their beards were grown. 
because they had distinction. The beard gave them a distinction there. And men in the New Testament, I believe, should also have distinctions. If you can grow a beard or have facial hair, do it. If not, well then, you know, look like a man and act like a man some other way. But I think that we need to get rid of this whole thing of saying a man should be clean shaven. You know, this, this whole, I've been around this, you know, independent, fundamental, bathlick look, you know, for so long and you get the guys and they don't have any facial hair and you got to have your hair cut a certain height above your collar and the back there and everything else. It gets very, very pharisaical. It gets very ridiculous. Uh, just don't think it should be that way. So, um, if you want me to laugh at you, uh, I don't take this stuff seriously at all. When people start to say, I need to shave my beard and blah, 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 whatever else. <laughs> I just look at you as being very pathetic, to be very honest with you. Uh, if men don't want to have facial hair, fine. But don't come down on me because I have a beard. And no, uh, just to set the record straight here and to, to put this out there for everybody, uh, nobody online is going to tell me to shave my beard, okay? You don't have a right to talk about that stuff. You don't have a right to tell me what to do with my appearance. That's not going to happen.